Hey guys, what's good? Mike here. Thanks for tuning in to another video. I want to talk about how you can increase your chances of landing a UI UX design job simply by using Envision. Okay, if you're not familiar with Envision, you can go to envisionapp.com. I'll give you a demo in a second. They should be paying me for this, but they're not. But this was something that I was thinking about just the other day, and I tweeted this out and it got a lot of likes, and I think a lot of people are kind of aware of what I'm talking about, okay? Envision is simply a hosted web app that allows you to upload your images and share your mockups and things with other people in your company. And you can also, their biggest feature is allowing you to um, create hotspots and links. So you can, you can link to your mockups, essentially creating a prototype, a lifelike clickable interactive prototype of your work. Now, this is nothing new. Uh, Envision has been out for a while. Prototyping has been out for a while. Why is this something that I'm talking about now that's something that caught my attention? Um, it's because of the, the um, I think it's because of the efficiency that Envision allows you to share your mockups and when people in your organization start, when they, when you when you provide links to a, an Envision prototype, they they feel empowered. They love this thing. I mean, I've seen it all the way. Stakeholders and managers and things they love prototypes. Okay, this goes back to when I was using Adobe Fireworks. Okay, I was using Adobe Fireworks forever. And Adobe Fireworks allows you to build prototypes within Adobe Fireworks. It allowed you to create hotspots and link to your other pages. So you can create a mock-up here, that's page one, but create another mock-up there, and that's page two. And so you can link, when I click on this action button, I can link to that page. Essentially, that's what I did in Adobe Fireworks. And so in Adobe Fireworks, basically when you export your prototype, it becomes like an HTML page, right, with a bunch of images. And so what I would do in the past, I would just upload, I would take this folder, right, it's like prototype one. I would take that folder and I would upload it to like an internal intranet or internal server. And then I would share that link to people like product owners within my organization. And so when I send them that link through an email, you know, it's better than sending them a, a PDF or whatever. I send them that, that, that um, link in an email and they click through it or I show them this demo and then they're able to take that demo and show it to other people. They love this stuff, right? They're like, Mike, can you please send me another link of this product? Can you send, you know, please send me another prototype of this, is this, right? And so I would use Fireworks in the past. And then when Fireworks went away, when Adobe killed Fireworks, I started using Sketch and Envision, right? They're tightly integrated, but Envision works with pretty much anything. You can build a mock-up in Microsoft Paint and upload it to Envision, okay? doesn't matter, uh, but Envision and Sketch allowed me to do the same thing. But not only that, Envision over the years, and I actually um, signed up for an account on my own, with, even without my company um, obtaining the enterprise license as of yet. Um, back a couple years ago, I started, to, um, I started using um, Envision pretty much every day on my own in my company. So I was share, I was, had my own account, I was paying, I'm paying 25 bucks a month, which I'm still, you know, I think they have a free account and then you pay the $25 a month, which you get unlimited projects, okay? And so this was prior to ADP actually having an enterprise license, which they do now. Um, so I was uploading my work from ADP onto my Envision um, projects and I would share those links to product owners and they just, people love this stuff. Now, Fast forward, ADP now has enterprise license. And so product owners and pretty much other developers and folks within my organization have access to Envision. Not that they're actually using uh, Envision to create prototypes, but when I send them prototypes, they can see my projects even without me sending them links. The point here is that stakeholders and other non-UI UX designers, they love Envision. Everybody loves Envision. And it, this is this tool is becoming so powerful because it allows me to send things quickly to my stakeholders, to my boss, my VPs, 
and then they can share this with sales and then sales is like, please build this for us, you know? The point here is that the efficiency that Envision allows you to share um, your work is invaluable. Also, the, the, um, the fact that it's almost an industry standard, if you will, okay? I'm sort of tool agnostic. I don't like to talk about um, you know, use this tool, use that tool. I don't care. Okay. If this tool can make me a million bucks, I'm going to use it. All right. But when there's a clear cut sort of tool that sells itself and people love this tool and it becomes an industry standard, which Envision is any company you go to people, organizations, UX, UI design teams and product teams are using Envision to collaborate and share work. So that leads me to the fact that as a UI UX designer, it is vital, in my opinion, that we should start sharing our work through Envision prototypes. Now, I don't do this necessarily on my on my portfolio work right now, but it would be to your value, to your benefit, to um, instead, in addition to having your website and all that stuff, create a prototype um, of your project. So, if you have eight mockups, eight screens. Make sure you upload those to Envision, and when you go to an interview or when you submit your portfolio, make sure they have access to these links. So if I'm a hiring manager, it would be impressive to me to, before I interview someone, or when I'm interviewing a UI UX designer, it would be impressive to me that somebody is utilizing this in, this invaluable tool, which is Envision. So if I was looking at your prototype or your mockups in your portfolio, and you have a little link at the bottom, instead of saying, you know, check out the live site. You have a link to say Envision prototype, right? I click this and now I'm like, wow, this, this UI UX designer gets it, right? This, he or she gets the fact that this tool is vital and it's also on the cutting edge of what every product team uses. So, um, I think that would be invaluable. So if you could link up your work into Envision, whether it's just a clickable, um, because Envision allows you to click through your prototypes just as like a slideshow. It also allows you to link up your stuff. So if you can do that, I think, all right, I think, and I would do this when I start, if I start interviewing for other companies down the road, I'm going to do this with my prototypes and my mockups instead of just, you know, in addition to having them on my website, have a link to a prototype, a clickable prototype that will allow that hiring manager to click through and that team to click through your work. All right, being valuable, it will put you a notch above someone who's not doing that, in my opinion. Guaranteed, okay? Let me show you a little snippet of uh, Envision. So basically, this is, this is Envision. You can go to, where is it? Right there. You can go to Envision app. I don't know if it zoomed in, but you can go to envisionapp.com. Basically, this is their site. So uh, let me show you a little snippet of uh, a project that I have right now, basically. Here you have a bunch of um, mobile screens that I uploaded to Envision. Basically, when you upload, when you create a mobile prototype, it automatically, as you can see, it automatically generates the iPad or iPhone sort of a container. And if you, you can come down here to the um, to the controls, and you can change that to white if you want it to, right? So you can have a white. Uh, white and you can they have different type of models they have ipads android apps containers and so forth so you can do one for iphone you can do one for android whatever right so but basically you see these little arrows right here if i want to i can just click through this and just see your work right and so this is a great way for me to easily browse through your work without having to deal with your website or deal with any like a pdf or whatnot so that's one great aspect for it but if you wanted to easily create a link. For example, if I hover over this menu and I select, I want this menu to go to the menu page, right? And then I want it to slide in, slide in from the left like this. Click OK, preview it. When I click that, now that menu slides in, All right? So now if I wanted to add a little bit more, let me come up here, add my little menu. I'm going to click here. I want this to go to the navigation, but I want it to be pushed. I want it pushed to the right. So when I preview this, it pushes to the right and you can see a little snippet, right? So that's just 
an example of what you can do with uh, Envision. And so you can get really extensive with your prototype. So if you're, if you're mock, and this actually forces you as a UI UX designer to do more with your prototypes, not just don't stop at one image, go deeper, go deeper and force yourself to build a clickable prototype that will um, enhance your value in growing as a UI UX designer and getting that job and impressing that team or hiring manager. So use Envision and in my opinion, it will increase. Purchase their app. In my opinion, it's vital and it will help you grow and help you, um, I believe, help you get that new job or increase your chances of getting a new job as a UI UX designer when you're in a UI UX design interview. All right, thanks for watching guys. Hope this was helpful. As always, visit my site, mlwebco.com. You wanna learn more about me and the things that I do and hit the thumbs up if you like the things I talk about and uh, use a contact link on my site if you wanna ask me any questions. I'll be happy to answer those questions for you when I have time. So thanks for watching guys and we'll talk soon, peace.